Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Rune Factory 2, a fantasy over Smoon, a feeling that feels very good to say if this wasn't the first time I was saying it, or if it was the first time rather. I'm, uh, I'm re-recording this in a way, I, the audio at least, all this video footage is me already doing this, and, uh, the quality is bad, and I'm sorry about that, and there's multiple issues with it, but I'm trying to save as much as I can, so the first half of this video is going to be pre-recording. I'm just going to be covering the four seasonal things right now, so give me just a minute to finish watering these. Between episodes, I actually did a bunch of the Inquisitive Bolts recording, and I actually got a bunch of the golden vegetables, so you'll see that in just a second. Alright, golden turnip. A rare golden vegetable created to accommodate requests for turnips that match a girl's hair. Gold potato. A rare golden vegetable used to spot as light shines up from the ground even while it's still buried. Gold Pumpkin, a rare golden vegetable. When carved into a lantern, it makes even the hardiest of men cower in fear. And I believe... yeah, there it is. Gold Cabbage, a rare golden vegetable with its new color, its taste has improved a hundredfold. I don't know about new color, because it's always been that color, but yeah, sure. Okay, bum-bum, bum There we go, all shipped. And that leaves us with this already. We're at 67% overall and 79% just from crops. So, nice, nice. Sadly, we're only at 37% medicine. So, I'm kind of falling, failing at that. 66%, almost equal with the accessories at least. 64% for cooking, still pretty equal for that. 66% on fishing, still equal on that. And 78% on other. So, generic stuff's doing pretty good right now. Alright, so we're going to start with a request today for Sarah and Serena. We're looking for somebody to play with us. Yeah, come play with us. Let's do it. Alright, right up here. Oh no! What happened? I was playing hide and seek with Sarah, but I can't find her! We usually just hide together, but this time we were only playing with the two of us. That's not good. You better find her soon. Please help me. Ah, bless the island, Sandy Path. That makes sense. No wonder she got lost. And I guess I wanted to get her... I don't know. <laughs> Let's move on from that. Alright, right down here I believe is the Sandy Path. How are ya? I'm so glad you found me. We were playing hide and seek and I got lost. I'm glad I found you too. Serena's worried about you. You're not injured, are you? I'm fine. In fact, seeing you cheered me up. I'm okay now. Thank you. And she doesn't take us with her. Thank you so much for shining, Sarah. I'm so happy to see you, Arya. Thanks, Arya. You're the best. Here, I want you to have this. I made it myself. I want some too. You got chocolate cookie. Thanks again, really. Alright. Easy request. Good morning. Hi, Good morning. Arya. Hello, Arya. Do you like playing outside, Arya? Nuh-uh. I bet Arya would rather read instead. Wow. Just called a nerd right to my face. Um. Hmm. Looking for someone to talk to. I'd like to have a conversation with someone from my end. Hello, Arya. I saw the bulletin board. What do you want to talk about? I can lend you an ear if you'd like. Thank you, Arya. I'd like to talk to you about a problem I'm having. Okay, but what kind of problem could you possibly have, Leanne? My sewing grades are really aren't that good. Do you have any tips for how to improve them, Arya? Wait, I thought your grades were some of the best in the class. Well, most of them are, but I'm having a lot of trouble with sewing. I see. Well, that makes sense. That makes me think this all the more. You do study very hard, Leanne, but sometimes I think you push yourself too hard. I think you should relax, unwind a little, and not make yourself so tense when you sew. 
relax? That's right. I think you're so tense that it's carried over to your sewing. Yes, you may be right. That could be it, Arya. It is, I'm sure. Okay, I'll try and relax next time or so. Thank you, Arya. I'll be sure to do that. You got it help. Please, then, take this as a thank you. Oh, I couldn't possibly. Oh, okay. See you later. Thank you, Arya. Land slipped 2,000 G into your pocket. Yeah. It's a good chunk of change for a child, but it's fine. Alright, next request. Uh, more work as an assistant test in the strength of steel. Easy, safe, guaranteed to be worth your while. Finish the experiment, big money. Let's do it. Hello, Arya, let's talk business. Remember earlier when I asked your help measuring the strength of some steel? I'd like to continue that today. It's the same as the earlier test. You hit this uh, sheet made of steel with an ore in your sword and measure its strength. I'll be the record keeper and you carry out this test. Take your sword and the stylus and continuously hit tap the sheet the touch screen. So, tap to win. Try to keep hitting as long as you can. Do you understand? Okay, let's begin. Put in merch. Okay, that's enough. Hmm, its strength is 32. This is not good. Take a look at how much damage was caused when it was hit. The steel was supposed to be an improvement over the last prototype. I don't think the steel can be proved upon any further. Well, thank you. With your help, I'll be able to collect some valuable data. Here's 30,000 G for your services. And that's an even bigger chunk of change. This time, I'll also give you missing page two. Alright. Missing page two, the final page of the Shine Magic Book. Can't be used until the first page has been restored. Alright, class time. Um, I think I'm gonna do powerful medicine to start. Tap the word was powerful medicines. I'll begin with the health it. To make this, you will need to have some grape liqueur. Mix it together with fairy dust. Take an insect jaw and add it to the mix. Finally, add honey. Next up is the Mincerhoid. First, crush a root into a powder. It seems a shame, but do the same with the tortoise shell. Add in fairy dust. And finally, add in powdered skull. Alright, just those two. Alright, uh, let's stay away from the hammers for now, I guess. And let's go make some boots. Time to learn how to make boots. First up, feathered boots. You don't need to start with leather boots. The soles of the boots are made out of quality fur. We've bird winged the cloth. Use fish fossil to make the front of the boots. Decorate the boots with a little crystal. Finally, use a cheap bandage inside the boots. Next, I'll teach you how to make heavy boots. First, start with the leather boots. Add bronze in the area around the ankle. Then, use iron. You'll need one more iron for extra support. Uh, you'll need a shoulder piece for the sole. You should use glue to finish it off. Next is the leather boots. Shape them with a speckled skin. Stiffen the tip of the shoe with a root. You also need to use a cheap cloth. Put some cheap cloth inside the boots. To reduce slippage, put spore on the soles. Finally, cover the boots with a strong string. Any questions? The night boots are the best boots I can teach you. You're gonna need to start with a pair of feather boots. Build the shape of the boots with iron. Construct the heel of the shoe with silver. The top and front of the boots use diamond. Line the inside with layers of silk cloth. Make the sole of the shoe from hardened devil blood. Sandwich. Veggies and other fillings placed between slices of bread can be easily eaten. 
and chocolate cookie. Simple baked flour mixed cookie. Covered in plenty of chocolate, it's sweet yet better taste is addicting. That is a very weird way to put that, but... Bum -bum. Bum -bum. And this is the final day of the season, so we're gonna harvest everything real quick. Alright, on to the next. The first day of summer. Also known as the Summer Festival? I actually don't remember off the top of my head. Yeah, whatever. Alright. It is a festival today, technically, so let's get rid of that. Yeah. Morning. Morning, Arya. Yippee, it's the first day of summer. I can't wait to get in the water. Arya, you get in too. Be careful not to drown, okay? I think you got it backwards. I should be saying that to you, Arya. Good morning. Good morning, Arya. Today's the start of the swimming season. Are you much of a swimmer? Morning. Morning, Arya. Today's the start of the swimming season. I've been waiting for this for so long. Can you swim, Arya? Morning. Morning, Arya. Oh, Arya, it's been hot every day recently, hasn't it? How are you holding up under the heat? Morning. Good morning, Arya. Swimming season starts today. Be sure to stretch before you go underwater. Good morning. Good morning, Arya. Ah, oh, it's the first day of the summer today. The smell of the sea in summer, how invigorating it is. Good morning. Good morning. Swimming season starts today, but I still prefer a walk in the mountains. Good morning. Good morning. Today's the start of the swimming season, but I'm not much of a swimmer. Good morning! Swimming starts today. It's fun to go swimming, but just be careful out there. Good morning. Good morning. Swimming season starts today. Do you like to swim, Aria? You look well this morning, little human. I heard that swimming season starts today, but Orwin doesn't seem very interested in swimming. Morning. Morning. Swimming season starts today. You can go swimming if you want, but don't drown yourself or anything. Morning. Good morning, Aria. Looks like the time has come for me to show off my big flabby belly again. Weird, right? Good morning. Good morning. Swimming season starts today. Why is that Raren been raring to go in the water since this morning? Why don't you play with them too? Morning. Morning, Aria. Maria, I'm sure you can't wait to see me in a sexy pose wearing my super low-rise bikini, right? Really? Really? Real? I really don't want to see. No, please, no, I don't want to see. Okay. Eh. That's weird to say to a child. <laughs> Max is a weird dude. Alright, take care of watering the crops for now. And I'm almost done with the carrots. As well as the eggplant. And level up. Still a few more days on those. Morning, morning, Aria. Hey, Aria. Swimming season starts today. The sea is the perfect for such darn hot days like today. Morning, morning, Aria. Every kid should play in the water in summer. Make sure you get out there and have some fun. Good morning. Good morning, Aria. Swimming season starts today. The ocean can be dangerous, so be careful while you play. Good morning, Good morning Aria. Swimming season starts today. Do you like swimming, Aria? Good morning. Good morning. Today is the start of the swimming season. You like the ocean, Aria? I feel like you should know. You are my mother. Good morning. Good morning, Aria. It's the start of the swimming season, but I'm afraid of getting sunburned, so I'm gonna have to pass. Good morning, Arya. Swimming season starts today. Candy can't wait to get in the water. I wish they weren't always in their homes. Good morning. Good morning, Arya. Swimming season starts today. I must say, you look very happy about this, Arya. And I will spend forever looking for these ones. I made like three trips around there. I forgot they were inside. Arya. Hiya, Arya. Hiya. Hello, Arya. It's time. It's the first day of summer. I love to swim in summer. I'm not very good at it. Very different, yet very much the same. And that was pretty much everything you could find during the Summer Festival, so we're back. <laughs> Alright, 
I guess it's time for the next day. Let's go on to the second day of summer. Alright. And we're on to the summer music once again. Heck yeah. But we have something to do. <laughs> and we're already done with the carrots. As well as the eggplant and the other one. Alright. Next requests. Can you run over and give this to Orlin for me? Deliver this for me from Lionel. I saw your message on the board, Lionel. Ah, uh, Arya, about that. Could you give this pin to Orlin for me? I was having trouble understanding something at school and he helped me out, so I wanted to thank him. But I'm kind of too embarrassed to give it to him myself. So I was wondering if you could maybe go and give it to him for me? Please? You get embarrassed pretty easily, don't you? Don't worry, Lionel. It's no problem. I'll do it. <laughs> Thanks, Arya. Okay, here you go. Thanks, Arya. What's this for? It's a thank you from Lionel for helping my school. Oh, is it? That's all? Aren't you happy? Don't worry, I'll keep it. You don't need to be so curt, but why did he want to give you that pin? These things seem to be all the rage these days. Roy and Lionel are both collecting them right now. I'm not interested in myself, though. I see. Well, please tell Lionel that I got his present. Alright, see you later, Orland. Bye. So, did you give it to him? Thanks, Arya. It's no biggie. Did you collect pins or something? Yeah, I collect them with Roy. So, do you think Orland like it? Like it? Um, yeah, he seemed to like it a lot. That's good. I almost forgot. Here's something for you. You got chocolate cake. Pretty simple way to get some cake. Alright, on to the next. Um... Can you get some bait and medicine? Can you get some medicinal herbs? My stock of medicinal herbs has run out. It'd be really great if you went out and found some for me. From Dorothy. Alright, yeah, this will be pretty easy and kind of funny. <laughs> I saw the bulletin board. Ah, oh, so that's why you're here. Great. Okay, so I'm about to run out of my supply of medicinal herbs. If it's not too much trouble, could you collect five medicinal herbs for me? I'd really appreciate it. Sure, no problem. Thank you. I'll be waiting. What can I do for you today? I'm gonna buy five medicinal herbs. It's very dumb, but... Yeah, I don't know what she was thinking. It's not very much money. Thank you. This should be enough. Thanks for your help. Here's a little thank you for your hard work. You got vital gummy. You're really a good kid, are ya? And vital gummy is a great item. I would normally try to ship something like this because it's hard to get, but in this case, I want to keep it out on the checklist. So, vital gummy, a health supplement created by a special process, increases vitality. I'm not going to ship this one, mainly because I still need to make it, so might as well down the hatch. So what this entire thing's been about is that I kind of had to redo a lot of this. I had to go in, I had to like edit everything up I already had, and then kind of do a little voiceover for it. Because uh, you gotta love audio errors and video errors, and hopefully things are better quality now and you might notice a slight difference because it's like four times the resolution. <laughs> yeah, whatever, it's fine. Three times? Three times the resolution. Uh, I guess let's do a few more requests. Might as well, right? Uh, yeah. Request from UA. I managed to get it one more time. Come get it. I'll be waiting. Once again, I got something good. Alright, let's go see what this is about. Oh. Oh, Arya? I'm glad you came. 
I found another one of those pages and thought you should have it. Yeah, take it. Missing page one. There are a lot of these floating around, aren't there? Have they been helpful to you? I hope they have. That's the only, that's the only thing important to me. Important thing to me, whatever. Alright, and that is the other missing page from Shine. So... Alright, on to the next request. Obviously that wasn't much of a request. Uh, give an accessory to UA for me, from Gordon. I figured I could make some extra money, so I made some accessories. Come and see me for more details. Hi, Arya! This is about my request, right? I'd like to get right to it! I want you to deliver this to UA! Receive the Earth Pendant. It's a piece of jewelry I made for her! Apparently, they're selling like hotcakes in other towns! <laughs> so anyway, I need you to deliver this to UA! Thanks, Aria! Alright. Oh, was another one of Gordon's pendants? You brought it here for me? Thanks! Gordon's pendants are really popular in other towns. He's got great taste. Yeah, to become a craftsman full time, he's that good. Anyway, thanks, Aria. Thank Gordon for me too, will ya? Did you deliver it for me? Thanks! Here, take this! He got 600 G. Thanks again! If you need anything else, I'll be sure to ask you! Uh... Honestly, that pendant was... no, nah, whatever. And we're just burning through as many as we can today, I guess. Because honestly, it's something I can do, so why not? Um... I am curious what this is. Let's go talk to Jake and see what this is. Did you read the bulletin board, little human? I have a job for you. Bring me a tortoise shell. I need to make a piece of armor. I asked Orlin to do it, but he said it's too much of a hassle. So I want you to go instead. You can fi sometimes find a tortoise shell when you defeat a tortoise on Blessy Island. Good luck, little human. Uh, I don't have any, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, right, it's after one, so it's, yeah, afternoon, I should say. Uh, donuts, heck yeah. I could, I could mess up a donut right now, that'd be tasty. And while we're here... Trying to start twice. Okay, um, I guess let's take care of the first two tiers of spears. Today we're going to start with a blood lance. First, we need to prepare a flare lance. Probably should do these in order, but whatever. Next, use proof of warrior. That's not proof of warrior. This is proof of warrior. During the striking process, use the skull and use plenty of poison powder for the blade. To strengthen the poison, use the spore. Finally, wrap a cheap bandage around the hand. Next, I'll teach you how to make a silent grave. First, you'll need a halberd. Next, reshape a hard horn into a knife. Uh, fasten together a blade and shaft using magic crystal. Next, wrap a root around the shaft. You'll want to use the giant's gloves on the hand grip. Finally, wrap a quality cloth around the spear. Next, I'll teach you how to make a heavy lance. You'll need a lance to start from. Next, reforge the blade with silver. The process will be easier if you use gunpowder. To strengthen the spearhead, use a pole horn. The next part, is, next part is crucial. Use a bird wing. Finally, wrap the grip. Wrap the grip with a strong bind. Our last quest. Our last question, our last lesson is a three-bladed spear, the Gay Bulk. First, you'll need a silent grave. The left blade will be made from a wolf thing. A devil horn will form the middle blade. And the right blade will be made from a rage fang. To make a hand grip, wrap the shaft with a bird wing. 
to make it easier to carry. You can use a woolly fur ball. Okay, so spear one did work. So spear two time. Alright class, time for a flare lance. Start with a heavy lance. Next, redden the whole spear by using fire crystal. We will also want to use a scorpion pincher. To strengthen the power of flame, use a scorpion tail. And also a tomato on the spearhead. To finish your work, you will need to attach an arrowhead to the base of your flare lance. Any questions? Uh, why you use a tomato in a weapon, but yeah, whatever. Let's continue with the iceberg. Iceberg? Whatever. Uh, first, use a water spear. And then add a water crystal. To make the blade itself, use a skull. Next, apply an insect skin to the shaft. Strengthen the grip using a tortoise shell. Finally, you'll also need a woolly furball. Let's continue with the metas. First, make a blood lance to use as a base. You'll need a new panther claw for the blade. Next, cover the blade with poison powder. A spore will strengthen the poison, remember. That's... You'll also need a speckled skin. You wouldn't want to poison yourself. Add giant's gloves. For the last lesson of the day, I will teach you to make a monk staff. You'll need to start with a wooden staff. Use an earth crystal to forge the blade. I think you also want to use a magic crystal. Strengthen the blade even more with a giant's fingernail. Next, wrap the grip with a woolly cloth. Finally, add a sparkle string on the spear. Any questions? The real question is if that worked, because I never trust any of these to work anymore. Alright, let's go deliver that. You work, little human. Orlin could learn a thing or two from you. Here's your payments. You got a great sword. Thanks, little human. That's actually a decent weapon. It's not like, you know, this, but that is a decent weapon. If you got this fairly early on in your playthrough, like early in second gen rather, this would be a good way to do it. But you can also just craft what you want, so I don't know. Alright. Um, I think we're actually going to skip to tomorrow, so I'll see you all in just a moment. Alright, are either of these done yet? Uh, one of them is. I believe, yeah, we're done with those. Okay, the white cabbage is done. Alright, so the only thing left is the spring dungeon. Cool! Alright, honey. So over at the chemistry station, we are going to want... Where is the recipe? There it is. This sweet powder. I've probably showed this off before, but sweet powder. All right, now here at the frying pan, we're gonna take the pancake recipe, which is gonna require one flour, one honey, one small milk, one small egg, and the sweet powder. Mind you, you can do this with a medium or large milk in a medium large egg, but this is just the way I'm doing it right now. For pancakes. Morning. Hey, Lionel. Morning, Arya. These days have been helping collect the materials for workshop class. My dad's real tough, though, so I'm worn out. Yeah, well, happy birth, miss. I love these! Thanks! Wait, wait, wait... Oh, right. I completely forgot it's this thing. I forgot that everyone has a birthday gift. I don't know why I forgot that. But for some reason this game has birthday gifts, which... 
is a stupid concept. Oh, I only want this one thing on my birthday. If you don't bring, if you bring me anything else I love, then I just won't consider it a birthday gift. So we harvested a pineapple here, an orange up here, grape here, and an apple here. Now over here in the juicer, let's see, do we have the recipe for both of these? We're gonna be making a fruit juice with pineapple, apple, grape, and an orange. And then we are going to make a vegetable juice using a pumpkin, a pink turnip, a carrot, and a spinach. Now finally, we're going to make a mixed juice by combining these two together. Not too hard, especially if you already have the vegetables. Mixed juice. Oh, I can have this, thanks. Today's actually my birthday, it's so nice to get a present. It looks delicious. Now here's Shine. Simple little thing, right? For comparison. 62 damage isn't bad, 20 against that thing. To repair a magic book for you? That shouldn't be a problem. However, you need to bring me with the book you want repaired and the right missing page. I can only repair the missing pages in order, which is stupid, but alright. Shine. You only repair the, the shine book? Okay. You didn't have the right missing page for shine. What? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's because I have it equipped, isn't it? Probably because I have it equipped. You found the missing page. This won't be any problem then. La 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 la. There we go. Good as new. Received the shine magic book. Thank you, teacher. Don't mention it. Yes, teacher. Probably not mother. Don't know what you're talking about. Anyway. Alright. Here's shine level two. Slightly weaker, actually? I know, about the same damage range. You want to repair the shine book? Okay. You found the missing page. There won't be any problem then. La 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 la. There we go, good as new. Oh, Arya, that book is already completely repaired. What do you want me to do? Write a new chapter? Well, it was worth a try. It's, it's dumb it does that. <laughs> Alright, and while we're still here, right. let's take a lesson. Let's begin the class. All right, uh, I guess just spicy foods? This time we'll make some spicy dishes. First we'll try dry curry. First we finally chop some green pepper. Then chop up some onion in the same way. Next, chop up a carrot and mix it together with the other vegetables. Then stir fry everything in a frying pan coated with oil. Once it's browned, add in the curry powder, but don't add too much. Disagree. More. More! Pour it, pour it over some rice, and it's finished. Next is some curry bread. To make it, first you'll need to prepare some dry curry. That's... crazy. Then stuff into some bread. Seal it well, then fry in oil, and it's finished. Next is fried sun squid. This one isn't really super spicy, actually. You'll need a sun squid. It's spicy by itself, so be careful seasoning it. Okay. There. No. Did you understand? Next is curry udon. This is a great way to combine curry and noodles. First, use flour to make the noodles. Then, add a pink turnip to give it some color. Next, add some thinly sliced carrots. 
For seasoning, use curry powder. Dissolve it in the soup to add a great curry flavor. Last is curry manju. This combines Chinese steamed buns with curry. Chinese, totally that thing that exists. Eastern steamed buns with curry. First, chop up a bamboo sprout. Then, chop up a carrot and mix it with the bamboo sprout. Next, season the mixture with curry powder. Finally, wrap it in dough made from flour and steam it. That's it. Okay, and now, convenient side dishes. Today, we'll try some light, easy prepared recipes. First, let's try corn on the cob. Heat up the frying pan, then fry up some corn. Use some butter when cooking to add to the taste. Next is cheese bread. Start by making the dough using flour. Add some small cheese into the dough, too. Once the bread is done steaming, sprinkle some honey on top. Next is steamed cake. It's easy to make. Start by whisking a small egg. Once it's frothy, pour in some small milk, let it steam, and you're finished. Next is pumpkin pudding. You'll need quite a lot of ingredients for this one. Let's start with the basics. First, knead a small egg. Then, pour in some small milk. Next, add some pumpkin. Remember to strain it first. Add some yellow grass to bring out the desired flavor and color. Finally, cover it with honey, and you're finished. Next is hot chocolate. This drink will really warm you up in winter. Start by heating some small milk in a pot. Then, add some melted chocolate, and you're done. Easy peasy. We'll see if that actually worked next week. Alright, time to test the tier 3 of the shine book. So, same power, it's just even more of the orbs. Yeah, nice, nice. We love to see it. And most importantly, that actually cleared up two inventory spots, so, heck yeah. Um... I guess we can do one more request. Orland secretly wants something. Let's go help out Orland. I was wrong. You want something? I'm here about your bulletin board posting. What did you need? Great, listen up then. You may be surprised to warn them a bit of an insect buff. I want an insect shop for my collection. Can you get me one? Wow, you like insects around? I never would have guessed. So what if I do? And don't tell Roy, either. He can be so annoying. Oh, okay, I'll keep it a secret. Don't worry, I'll get you an insect jaw. You can get an insect jaw from a hornet. Alright, I'm... Alright, I'm counting on you. Let's see if I already have one. If I already have one, I don't have to get one. We already know where to get them, but... Um, inside job, right here. Easy peasy. I apparently have a bunch of them, which means I've showed this off enough. <laughs> like you said, you can get them from Hornets, which I believe in is in Machina Valley. Future Gable will correct me. Ah, oh, you got it for me, did you? You really like bugs, huh? Something wrong with that? Um, no, not at all. Thanks. Take this. You got cherry grass seed. That's really actually good. See you later. Cherry grass seeds, which I believe we've already grown, uh, sown in spring. Takes a while to grow, blooms with light pink flowers. Takes 60 days, so. Yeah. Neat. Those are expensive. <laughs> Alright. So, with that, I think we're actually going to be done for today. 
Um, I already had close to 20 minutes of, uh, you know, fully edited done, so this should be enough just to finalize us. And we finished Lionel's birthday, and we are about to finish growing all the crops, which means we're at the end of the game. Um, I won't spoil what's ha what's gonna happen next, because I don't actually know. <laughs> I, uh, I had some issues when I originally played this game, and... I never actually got past this point, so this is about to be new content. Next episode is probably going to be technically the finale, and then I'll just do some episodes covering the rest of the requests, differences between, you know, Arya and Eren, and uh, other stuff, finishing off the uh, shipping list and all that. We're at the end of the game, and that feels good to say. I will be continuing Rune Factory stuff and hopefully putting out more episodes more consistently. Part of that is I may actually start streaming these games, and so, like, with Rune Factory Frontier, which will probably be my next game, that'll be a weird one. It won't be nearly as, like, structured as this, because it is not nearly as structured of a game. It's way more like, oh, this needs to be done at this time, this is a bit more random chance, I've never fin even come close to finishing that game. Things like that. <laughs> I've beaten every other Rune Factory game. Except for this one, because I'll, I'll explain that next time. <laughs> Alright. Thank you for watching. I hope you all have a fantastic day. Goodbye.